Let's now talk to Dixie Nosadje, who is an anti-terrorism specialist. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. What do you make of um, its security in Nigeria uh, weeks after this appointment was made? All right, thank you very much, Nifemi, for having me. Uh, good evening, Nigerians, and uh, it's a pleasure being here once again. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good news for us to have uh, the new service chief on board, and uh, you and I know that each time we have new sheriff in town, a lot, of, a lot is expected. A lot is expected from them, and uh, that is what uh, we're also expecting from the service chiefs, uh, right from the uh, chief of defense staff, chief of air staff, naval staff, and uh, uh, chief of army staff. Uh, you know, it's been so long that uh, Nigeria has been uh, suffering from uh, the spread of insecurity, and uh, during the time of uh, former uh, former president uh, Buhari, uh, he, he captured the service chief for about five years in office, and Nigerians were complaining that uh, he needs to bring in new service chiefs, and the new service chiefs came on board, and we still experience uh, the spread of insecurity. But this uh, set of service chiefs, uh, from their uh, you know, from their uh, actions and their uh, confirmation, I think uh, they're going to do uh, in the spirit of insecurity. But Indeed. if they must succeed, uh, there must be uh, a very high spirit of uh, a synergy between mm -hmm. them, you know, to come together and analyze the problem of Nigeria. Because if they don't analyze the Nigerian problem or the Nigerian security situation, they won't be able to profile mitigation factors and take it, making sure they, are take it, they take us from the spirit of insecurity. That's right. So first of all, they need to analyze the Nigerian problem from the east, west, south, and north. Look at the multi-dimensional security threat we're facing, and also look at the uh, you know mitigation factors they are going to apply. All right. in Mr. Sure Saji, lately we've been you know receiving reports of um, arms and ammunition intercepted, reportedly heading to the southeast. Is this good news or a sign of a deeper rot in our security infrastructure? Yes, it's a sign of a deeper rot. Uh, because uh, if we have a country whereby we have a porous borders and the arms and ammunition are going to the hands of the enemies, and I tell you for free that uh, Nigeria is treading on the path of danger. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy and glad to see the interception. Uh, but what do we do apart from this interception? And what if the... Nigerian military were able to intercept this arms and ammunition. That tells you that uh, Nigerian lives would have paid dearly for it. So what our advice is that I think the President of this chief should call for national disarmament. Carry out a national disarmament from all nooks and crannies of Nigeria and tell these guys to bring out the arms in their possession or else face the wrath of the Nigerian state. Because if we don't carry out an effective uh, disarmament processes and uh, ensure that uh, the Nigerian state is in a state of peace, these guys will continuously, you know, carry out uh, this illegal uh, uh, transaction. So what the government needs to look at, first of all now, is to give the Nigerian uh, custom uh, a marching order, the Nigerian immigration a marching order to make sure they, you know, uh, protect our national borders all right. and what is coming into Nigeria so that they'll be able to attack this menace with speed and momentum. If they carry out this effective protection for our national borders and carry out this disarmament program, I tell you, uh, this page will be mitigated and we will live in a state of peace. Anti-terrorism specialist Dixon Osaji, thank you for talking to us on the news tonight. Thank you for having me. Now, the Christian Association of Nigeria, Zamfara State Chapter, has commended uh, Governor Dauda Lawal for the steps taken so far to address the lingering security challenges bedeviling the state. The promise to support any move by the state government to uplift the living standards of the citizenry and promote religious harmony and peaceful coexistence. Phil Philo Starify has details. The tireless efforts of Governor Dodo Lowell to bring an end to the activities of armed bandits, cattle rustlers, and kidnappers in Zamfara State deserves commendation. That's according to the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan in the state. Within his two months in office, Governor Dodo Lowell had visited Office of the National Security Advisor, Defense and Army Headquarters, and other agencies seeking military support to address the menace of insecurity. It has come to the attention of the Christian Association of Nigeria Khan in the state, and it is pleading its total support. The Christian body in Zamfara is also appealing to Governor Dode Lal to consider appointing a Christian in his government to give them a sense of belonging. An election was conducted bringing in new executive officers of the Association of the State Chapter. The Khan National President, represented by Azumba Nicodemus, described the Khan election as credible and enjoin the new leadership to unite Christians in the state. Christian Association of Nigeria insists it remains a political, but will continue to strive hard in ensuring unity among Christians 
and promotion of peaceful coexistence among Nigerians. Theophilus Darufe, TVC News, Guso.